Why, why do we like having a barbecue or brying as we say in South Africa so much? Uh, I think the first reason could be the association of smells you get from the wood when it starts burning. This is a very hard wood that is harvested sustainably. Um, but it, the smell is so familiar to me since I was a little boy, two, three, four years old, I guess. I started smelling this kind of fire. And when you light it up, it's almost as if you immediately start salivating for the uh, very nicely uh, char-grilled meat that you are going to have very soon in an hour or so from now. Bit of a Pavlov's dog thing going on here. Well, I guess another reason why we like brewing <coughs> so much is because we love drinking our own locally produced wine and bubbly so much. What you see here is a Simon Sigkops Funkel Cup Classic, which means it's in the bottle fermented, similar to the method of making uh, champagne. Not allowed to call it champagne because it's not from the region of champagne, but basically exactly the same way, produced the same way, tastes the same, possibly sometimes even better than French champagnes depending on where it comes from and who made it and all of that kind of stuff but this one I can highly recommend potatoes tomatoes onions got some spices that's gonna go along with it and a bit of cheese melted cheese along with the mutton chops and uh, burrowors cheers If I had some patience, I might have chilled it in the ice cold Atlantic for a little bit. It's fairly cold enough though, I guess. Good enough to drink. Cheers. Nothing to balance your um, uh, grill on? No problem. Grab some rocks. Are lying right next to the Vorma. Put them next to the fire. And you've got a place to put your grill. Yeah. Also burn it a bit to get it clean. This is a brand new one, so it's coming from the shop. Still needs a bit of a burn in, I'd say, and a bit of a scrub, and it's ready to go. Just a bit of a walk around down to the beach. High tide, particular spot. It's a natural jacuzzi forming there when the when the tide is low. But you better have a wetsuit on. It's quite cold. Some interesting rock formations, and also something we discovered the last time we were here. Now, the last time we were here, this was salt that crystallized. It's not crystallizing if that's the right word. This pool now it almost forms an actual jacuzzi. I learned this trick from a friend of mine. You wanna? Clean the grid a little bit, use some of the onion to rub it off. 
so it's completely necessary but it's got a certain je ne sais quoi let's chuck that in there get the vibe going for the smell I'm somewhere gonna put the onions and tomatoes and cook it in the pot for a bit Karoo lamb chops from Chop Shop Knaven nicely packed lots of fat will make the meat extra soft pack the grill here on the side so you get some time to pack it without burning your hands but you see there is Buddha Wars but that's another long explanation very very nice sausage we make in South Africa 80% beef but 15-18% pork and yeah some coriander usually and a bit of other spices Slight north wind and the rain clouds are gathering might be forced to camp luckily I've got a tent plan on doing that so I might have to check in with the sand parks people at the gate just go and pay my dues 150 rand what's that hmm. it's about eight US dollars and for that you can camp with six friends five friends It'll be a total of six people for that amount chilling out here add some gloves in the car um, that I usually use if I have a tire burst or something and I need to work on the car so I'm using the gloves to turn the grid good idea to have something to turn the grid with and um, how to cook a chop um, sear it both sides a minute or two and then have a smoke while it's on the one side turn it have another smoke while it's on the other side turn it back check it depends on how hot your charcoal were things like that let's check it I prefer it not to too well cooked but not like beef we take medium rare but rather like a medium to well done and not too hot coals so it can cook a bit slow lamb likes cooking a bit slowly in the end just a bit of salt and spices if I had all of that around here I might have added some garlic crushed garlic or so Gives it a nice um, Mediterranean kind of flavor, Greek flavor. Yeah. Uh, I was a bit late adding the onions and the tomatoes to the pot. Also, no cooking oil with me. Usually, use avo oil, but in the absence thereof, I think I'll add a splurge of that. Just in a, a nod to Floyd, the cooking program master of the universe. Spices, so we've got some paprika, black pepper, coriander, a couple of other things, mustard seed, um, beef stock, garlic chili. I add some salt as well, but I have to grind that so I won't be able to video. Oof, a The voice is ready, but the chops, I, I just cut one with a knife and it's still a little bit too pink to my taste and the fat is very raw still. So I just turn them on their sides so the fat points downwards. Fat can burn for a bit on the side, just jar her a little bit more. And in case you want it, I'm not going to eat all the food myself. With two or three, maybe one or two of the vores, one or two of the chops, I'll keep, I'll wrap it in foil and tomorrow on the road, I'll have some more of that. And some of the potatoes. Maybe two of the potatoes I'll keep back to have on the road tomorrow. Time to rinse out the old cup from the Cup Classic. And uh, rather add some of this red wine. A Shiraz goes well with a smoker. A mate of mine forgot his utility knife at my place. I do have one, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, I found this one. Very happy that it's here. Otherwise, I would have had to shove the cork into the bottle. 
it's quite a rough and ready camping trip this one. Uh, the pineapple you see in there making some pineapple infused water for tomorrow on the road. That is a splendid wine. I was a bit concerned because I just bought it at a local supermarket on the way in Piketberg. But this is spectacular. I can highly recommend Nieuwe Drift Shiraz 2020. While I was away, the fat of course now made this to happen. It doesn't look too bad though. Uh, but don't let that happen for too long. The <laughs> obligatory presentation shot. There we go. Some potato with tomato and onion and a bit of uh, chunks of cheese chucked in there. Two lamb chops, piece of horse and a cup of beautiful red wine. Cheers. Goodbye for now.